Hopkins. Rigged, rigged to regulars. Jay! Jay, get the camera! Where's Jay, guys? Wake up, Jay. It's this boy! We got yeah, another normal match, but this time we got switching off. <laughs> Always gimmicks. Always. And uh, it looks like on the blue team we have uh, Prism Starter and uh, eh, kind of racist. And um, uh, I got nothing. Bees! 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 Leading off for the red corner, we got Totodile with some dive, ice punch, and sword stance, and dragon dance. This Totodile knows how to dance. Tag <laughs> E with flame body, good for hatching your eggs. The attacks, this overheat, fire punch, and, can, and that, those attacks are boosted with its charcoal it's holding. And also well, I was starting to dry off here, swap. but it looks like we're not the only ones who were feeling all wet, given Sim's latest statement. At least he's graduated beyond the explosion, uh, explosion messages. But last but not least, we got a zero with huge power in the citrus berry. The attacks double edge, bounce, waterfall, and encore. Now switching this off, which means no one can switch, which means we're gonna lead off his avatar versus Total Doll. And Ice Punch is gonna pack a punch against Lavatar. Yeah, Ice Punch and Dive are both gonna both gonna do some work there. Oh and the destiny knot unfortunately will not matter this match. Bummer. If only this Larvitar set had a track. And less than 30 seconds left to get your bets in. Hurry up and bet. If you want to bet, guys. Mm, the odds are almost even. How many bets coming in? Are we going to get a nearly even match? Yeah, it seems pretty even to me. Wow, nine, yeah. Oh, never mind. It sort of waited, waited to red a little bit. It tipped us slightly to red, but it still can be anyone's game as we're going to, going to this Coliseum. And we got some good old Battle Tree boss music. Lean up, we got Lavatar versus Totodon. Lavatar are using Sandstorm. Sandstorm is brewing at a Coliseum. Meanwhile, Totodon is gonna die. <laughs> Wait, Totodon is gonna die? Are you sure? I'm sure Pisa just hit me with Avatar with Diamond and Avatar is out oh, already. I'm sorry, I misheard what you said. I thought you would... I didn't realize there was a V. V there. And since switching is off, red, uh, Blue Team has no choice but to send out Ludicolo next. Ludicolo does have C bomb. It's gonna use seed bomb on Total Doll. It's gonna be super effective. Ooh. Ooh, that could put it into dragons. torrent range, couldn't it? Is that right? I think it's bad or close to torrent range. Which oh. is good for If it wasn't in torrent range, it certainly is now. Most likely is now. But I guess I guess torrent isn't gonna matter because they wanna go for the neutral it effective move. It depends on also what Total Doll's ability is. Let's actually check what it is. But Total Dial is going down. 
It's down and out. Ah yes, it's still Fort X resisted to die, but will Does... color his own tempo. Did that, uh, did that Larvitar have a smooth rock? This sandstorm is gonna last for a while, isn't it? Yeah, it did, it did have a smooth rock, but it's gonna last a little bit longer. That guy's gonna go for the overheat. And it takes down Ludicolo in one hit. Cooked by overheat! But specialty... Special attack from Magby's gonna go down. It means overheat's gonna be weaker this time. Oh shoot, they probably uh, needed that for uh, uh, Queen Bee, huh? Yes. I believe they still have Fire Punch in their arsenal. If they want to use that. Ooh, too. good point. I, yeah, I couldn't quite read that. I, I thought it said Blast. Good point. Yes, Fire Punch. It's super effective. It brings Best McQueen to half HP. Best McQueen's gonna go for the aerial race. And the Cat Sandstorm continues to rip and tear into the both sides. Look, it's really uncomfortable, Blade Type King, alright? Magby goes for another overheat, it's super effective, and it's good enough to take down Vespa Queen. And with that, the corner secured an 85% profit on their bets. Bzz, bzz, bzz. That was probably its last words. And John Cena breaking in the victory. Well done, Red Team. Well, with that match, I think that's it for me. Well, Can't speak for Leonis. I think we're the last one on... Aren't we the last for today? Oh, are we? Is that... Is that so? Yeah, I think so. So, you want... We can do the last token match. Oh, okay. We can call sure. it off. No, me! Me, me, me! Well, looks like we've got a nice jolly match uh, bid by Missy. Wait, Missy is now bidding against them themselves for first and second slot here. Never trusting but one. But Blade Type King with yourself. the woke, woke match. Let's see, I, I like that, I like that sub in the uh, frog in place of the plant. Yeah, overheat made us thirsty now. Alright, so who's that Pokemon? If Blank becomes agitated, agitated, it raises the toxicity of its eternal gases and then jets them out all over its body. This Pokemon may overinflate its round body, then explode. Hmm. Hmm. I this wonder. This Pokemon embodies toxic substances. It mixes the toxins with raw garbage, set off a chemical reaction that results in a terrible, powerful poison gas. The higher the temperature, the more gas is concocted by this Pokemon. And, and the, the final, uh, we got the small bugs it eats appear only at night, so it sleeps in a hole in a tree until night falls. I wonder which one is the fake one. <laughs> I think it's obvious the third one's the fake one. Because the first one and the second one are very related. Well, I think I, I have think... this one. Uh, yeah, be honest, even even but... a scrub like me can get this one. This is but so easy. You... It's Pikachu. But... Wow, what do you think it is? And Joel uh, yes, please, in the lead with 30 seconds left, you can 
jump onto the bandwagon of the other matches if you want them to succeed, or just let Jolly ride it to the top. Looks like the metronome match has just got on top. Looks like me the match no me just said no me and leaped to the top. Someone think it's Deku. Oh, it's not Pikachu. What? What the heck? We're back to more Pokemon Ash Gray. We're still in Viridian Forest trying to lead the forest. Or, or encounter a Weedle. Oh, and we got that classic two tokens. Thank you, Bree Griff. That's two tokens in the pot right now. If you Thank want you that token, input something right now. Wait, um, hold on, pause, where's, oh yeah, no, never mind, don't listen to me. GT Gaming Spartanberry, wait, Spartanberry, oh, I just, <laughs> just when you say it out loud, Spartanberry, get the token. No, so close. And we got the Averly Token Metronome Match. So leading off with the blue team, we got Big Ralph with Vital Spirit, Neoth with Tech te Technician, and Spiper with Shed Skin. And on the red team, we have Magmar with Vital Spirit, Politoed with Damp. Don't kapow on that Pokemon. And we also have Machoke with the classic No Guard, No Guard Metronome, a fearsome combination for either side. As we start out here, the odds are pretty much even. We've got an all-inner on the red team, and then it looks like, uh, at, at almost 3,000, 3,000, uh, whatever you want to call it, monies. Oh. But someone has taken the lead on the blue team. Got a big, big bet here. Over 4k. Yeah, this is a metronome match, so which means anything can and will go. If you're not us, you should bet on this match. Just go ahead, bet on it. What's the worst that could happen? Machoke has no guard, which means if a one hit KO move is drawn from the metronome pile, it will hit. Whether well, I suppose that might be the worst thing. Or for two either Machoke. Team. Yep, just uh, about a minute left to get your bets in on this metronome match. If you're not a bot, you should bet. With Polytoad on the f when Polytoad's on the field, its damp ability will stop any explosions. So make sure not to use any when it's out there, alright guys? Just just choose not to use that move. It's that simple. Survivor so Shed Skin means it'll be able to Heal itself from any style element at any turn. Yes, and if you want to take advantage of that, hurry and bet. You got like 10 seconds left if you can hear this. Less than that now. And Vital Spirit prevents Pokemon from falling asleep, so Big Roth and Magmar won't be going to sleep anytime soon. It looks like the red team is the underdogs right now, but that can change at any minute. You know what? That doesn't surprise me. I think Venom could take Bane. Pretty much any Venom, any iteration of Venom could do it. Oh, and we go to the Courtyard Coliseum! Could it be a foggy match to mess with this metronome? More RNG? Let's find out. Oh, fine. It's no, no fog. Whatever, it's still gonna be exciting anyways! Magmar gets the first move. I mean, Magmar, not Magmar. Hey! Tactical. With Garot to raise its defenses, Vigoroth is gonna go for a metronome. 
Goes for the sword stand to raise its attack by two stages. Definitely one-upping that Magmar. Its attack is a little bit better than Magmar's defense now. Magmar goes for Hydro Cannon. It's gonna bring Vigorat to half HP, but Magmar is gonna have to... Wait one turn to recharge. Vigorath goes for deep <laughs> No, that wasn't... You didn't need to do that. Let's see what the Sloth chooses again. Vigorath continues to set up with Dragon Dance. The attack's gonna raise one stage, and speed's gonna raise one stage. The Vigorath right, now has the attack and plus one speed. Is that right? Exactly. Yep, exactly like that. Frigrout goes for Brow. That's gonna lower Magmar's attack on one stage. Magmar goes for Mudshot. Vigoroth is almost to critical HP. Yeah, but Dragon its speed does go back to zero. Drag Drag Dragon Dance kind of mattered. Still gets that attack boost. Magmar goes for Heal Bell, but that's not gonna do anything. Did you hear that, guys? A bell chimed. Vigoroth goes for Rock Tomb. To do some massive damage, but Magmar still lives, but its speed falls. Speed strats. Vigoroth with another metronome attack. Sand attack! Which means Magmar's accuracy is gonna flow down one stage. Magmar misses with a Dark Pulse. Big Roth's turn. Oh boy, it's gonna do some damage. Not that it needs to, it finishes off that Magmar at low health. So long. And kind of first casualty of the match. Up next is gonna be Palito. Get your OS frogs ready. OS fight. Vigoroth gets, an gets another metronome attack off in its energy ball. It's a critical hit! Polytonus well, down one shot. Okay. <laughs> See ya. That was short lived. <laughs> I'm so sorry for all the people I told to get your OS frog emotes ready. Commentator curse, I suppose. As Machoke takes the field, hoping to get some one-hit KO moves against the blue team, and hoping that blue team does not select any against it. Vikroth is gonna go for the metronome. Use his heart for me! Getting that massive stab, blasting that Machoke oh, down to Machoke low does health. Live, and Big Roth will have to recharge next turn. If it does lift this attack, it does. It's <laughs> Ice Shard going second, you don't see that every day. Vigroth is gonna have to recharge, which means Macho is gonna get another move off. It's Sing, <laughs> but Vital Spirit comes to effect mm. and Vigroth stays awake. No guard mattered. Spike Cannon! And yeah, that's gonna be the end of Macho. Wow, with some powerful stab moves, the blue corner takes it, Vigoroth doing all the work. The Sloth sweeps this regional match. Sloth Strat, too powerful. Out of the machine, cheering 5 bits. I missed how many there were to go. Something with one in the second 
uh, column, I think. A two-digit number. Alright. Well, that's actually it for us, for this commentary buck. Five more bits for JB John, and eighty six more bits to go until we unlock the slots. So once again, I'm Leonis, and I'll see you guys again next time. And and I am Big Boyd. As always, it's been a pleasure, Leonis. Good commentating with you and chat. Uh, talk to you later. All right. Next up is PR Chase. Hashtag PR Chase. <laughs>